Welcome to Vaz Survival. Winter camping. Let's go. Talking about the 20, right? Talking about the 20. 20 months in a row. 20 months in a row, folks. 20 months in a row. Hey. We're friggin' weirdos. How That's do we do I'm it? How do we do it? We just go <laughs> at least <laughs> once a month. You're ready. Look at you. Locked and loaded for winter camping. New England. 2121 going into 2022. Which is kind of insane in itself, 2022. And honestly, the world's got some cool technology, but I expected it to be a little different. I, honestly, I think it's garbage <laughs> for the most part. And that's why it's good to come out into the wilderness and experience what God, what the creator, whatever you call him, what he decided to make everything look before man came in with his brains and created the concrete jungle and just a lot of nasty stuff, man. You can't even fish and catch stuff sometimes. It's all dirty. So whenever we find a clearing, maybe on the left, looks like it's going to be a while. We'll pull off. Sure. Sounds good. Down by the river on the right, up over the hill on the left. Yup, down by the river. Down by the river! Do that dance, do that dance. <laughs> oh my God, my legs are super tired. Ooh. It took us a very long time to get here. Yeah. And we actually, with the sun going down, we just had to find a proper site. We're gonna stay here overnight. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna keep on trekking down the trail and go to this spot that we know of that's deeper in the wilderness. We're gonna do some demonstrations. We're gonna build a shelter. It's gonna be an amazing time. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. Can't wait, went to camping. I guess uh, you could say that we like camping. Yeah. Right? It so all started with the pandemic. I said it 20 months ago. And uh, that's the little silver lining with the world being upside down for most of us, or if not all of us. It reminded me to get back outdoors, you know? Right. It's beautiful yeah. out here. Get outdoors. Yeah, get outdoors. And so speaking of that, we're going to set up camp real quick. First and foremost, we go out here so we can experience the peace of the wilderness, the quietness and everything. And so it's kind of silly if we are just out here and you always are sitting here documenting yeah. everything. Yep. So we're going to have a great time. It's yep. going to be a blast. And then tomorrow morning, we are going to film some stuff, demonstrate some safety skills, a lot of different things coming up. So stay tuned. God, my legs are killing me. Listen. You hear that? That's the beauty of nature. That is living life. This will always beat the sound of cars beeping. But this is what it's all about, man. Medicine. Come out here. Release. You get to clear your mind. Nothing beats it. The feeling that you get, the way that you're able to think out in the wilderness compared to anywhere, whether it's Danvers, whether it's Boston, whether it's Miami, Florida, this is what it's all about. Just make sure you're safe, make sure you're safe, and make sure you're <laughs> safe. Oh, hey, how you doing? Good morning. Good morning, sir. How'd you sleep? Not bad. Uh, you know, old reliable, my sleeping bag. Reliable. Performs well. Absolutely. I used to uh, poke fun at Jeff's 752-pound sleeping bag 
but it was consistently warm. Yeah, we'll wake up to a little snow. Right. It was a good night. I got a new tent, and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this because it's, it's a little huge. It was last minute because I had to concentrate on Christmas shopping instead of this. I got a few things to say about the REI. They may be good, they may be bad, but I don't know. Let's go ahead and have some breakfast. Let's do it. Hey, buddy. Good morning. How's it going? This guy would make it easy prey, though, if I was in a survival He's situation. He, he, he knows we're having a good time. We're his guests, you know? It's his neighborhood. See you later, Mickey Mouse. I got a gift for you, sir. We did the same thing last year. Oh, yeah? What do we have here? Oh, beef ravioli and meat sauce. It's grandma's cooking all over again. Right, part three. I got beef shredded in barbecue sauce. Yeah, grandma's cooking in the woods. Absolutely. These are super convenient to have. They're lightweight, especially when you're winter camping this far out. You don't want to mess around and bring a whole bunch of steaks and lobsters, even though that's delicious. So these, pack a punch. Very, very good. We're going to get some protein, some carbs in us, and, uh, and then we're going to get to work, and we're going to go over a scenario. Let's go. Let's open these up. Hold on a sec. This stuff's not that bad, but I can imagine if this was your only option and you ate this all the time, then of course you'd be like, Bleh. you know. I respect soldiers. I respect the military. I respect everything they do. So they really deserve good food. So I bet if you probably asked a lot of them, they'd probably say, man, this stuff is junk. Or maybe they think it's good. So, well, when you've been out, I would say we've been out for 24 hours out here now. Something about the food, it tastes so good. Um, you know, there's the, obviously when you're hiking and after the hike you're hungry, but mm -hmm. when you've been out in the elements for like 24 hours, that's when it starts to kick in. I don't yep. care what it is. I mean, this isn't too bad. You know, beef ravioli in the woods, you know, I'll but, take it. That's why but, you uh, get a... But it, anything, anything almost tastes good, except for uh, that time Denler was eating that cracker with sauce. It was a little, ugh, looked like dog food. That's why you gotta really respect soldiers. Think about soldiers in, for instance, World War II, during times where they were out in the wilderness in the cold weather like this for, for, for a month, every mm -hmm. single day experiencing these cold temperatures. and All they had to eat was this stuff. And because of their sacrifice, we get to do this. Yep. Eat in the woods in peace. Beef tortilla. Let's get to work after this, right? Let's go. So yesterday, we actually had the idea that we were going to hike further to a certain spot and camp there. However, it's been snowing for the past 12 hours. It's, it's very, very light now. We really enjoy our spot, so we decided we're going to stay there instead of hike further where it's going to continue snowing today potentially. We start sweating. We get cold. No good. So we're going to stay here. And we're going to play a scenario. We have no tools, we're lost hikers, and we have to find a shelter quick before the sun goes down at 4.30. We, we just have to do what we have to do in order to survive. So you need a shelter and then a fire. So we're going to get going. We're not going to mess around. Let's go ahead and do this. 